Hello, I'm Lizzie and this is Lizzie Reeves and welcome to a, another episode in my Exploring Romance series. This is a series I started earlier this year trying to find out the things that I love particularly in romance and trying to just explore the genre a little bit more because I'm fairly new to it. However, in this video we're going, taking it back because I'm going to be rereading and ranking the Off Campus series so to see if the things that I really loved about it the first time round because this was one of my very first sort of romance series I binged it I really really enjoyed it I couldn't put it down um so I think sort of analyzing it might be really useful for the project and just really interesting and fun um so I'm going in with to these ones armed with tabs and post-it notes galore because I am going to be taking and analysing this series very seriously. I'm just going to quickly run through the 10 point system in case you haven't watched any of these other videos but if you haven't and would like to the playlist will be linked down below and the series um, so basically what I do I have 10 categories in which I give each category a mark out of 10 which gives me a mark out of 100 and then I sort of compare them um, to each other um, in this um, sort of video I might be ranking them a little bit differently I might look at them in a few different orders but the idea is still the same and the ranking system is still very important um, I read these last year very early on uh, when I started reading romance and I just want to know how much has changed um, I made you a video about how I sort of got into reading romance and I sort of like how that process um, happened just out of interest if anyone because I'm interested in stuff like that I don't know if you are um, but yeah let me just get up the ranking and what I'm looking for so what we have here is main character one and main character two so there we have both the love interests um, I haven't um, at this point been exploring the idea of multiple love interests so like um, any poly relationships um, but at that stage I will probably adjust the um, adjust the titles appropriately I'm just looking for is one more well developed than the other do I like them do I like their backstory um, just all of those sorts of areas and then as a couple I've got so how well they work together because sometimes the characterization of both of them are very very weak but then when they're together it's really good so that can obviously vary it there then we have like a spicy smutty category so um, this doesn't necessarily have to be it has smart on every page but it's does it feel relevant for the story is there a right amount for the story because obviously there are lots of stories where um it doesn't come till later and no pun intended but that's just like natural and that's how it should happen um the quality of it is it cringy um is it bad um just all of those sorts of things that i'll be taking into consideration then next we have swoon slash romance so am i like just like want to squeeze my face off because these guys are so cute are they very romantic like how is the romance levels um is it just lust is it more romance so sort of differentiate differentiate in those areas then we have tension because i feel like the perfect amount of tension really really makes a romance novel for me there have been some instances previously in this project where um the tension has just not matched the situation in which they're in and I feel like it really let down the novel um, then we have a special category for the third act breakup because I think the third act breakup is very very important Cat, it, I'm sort of here looking at is it appropriate for the story the characters sometimes I really like a book that has a third act breakup that is more a, a third act conflict not third act breakup there's no necessary breakup there um, I like that and um, I like the variety that that brings um, to the romance genre because a lot of them are a breakup, pebbles at the window kind of situation, which I love, but works somewhere and somewhere it places it doesn't work. So we're looking at things like that and then the ending, how everything is wrapped up, is the epilogue any good? Because I love a good epilogue. Then we have setting slash trope. Um, so I'm looking at the um, importance and how well done this was. Um, speaking to mind, um, this one's going to be a really difficult one 
because this is my favourite setting and my favourite trope um, so far that I have encountered. I love a sport, specifically a hockey romance, and I have loved um, like the college, you, um, American college setting. So um, that's like, it's just been my favourite. I've just, it was very easy for me. It helped me, really helped me get into the genre. So I'm hoping that that still stands for me. And then lastly, I've got a fun and enjoyment category because um, sometimes the rest of the novel is bad, but it just gets a full 10 on the fun and enjoyment because I've had the best time. And I think that's really important to consider. So then I'll get the total points and we'll sort of look at it from there. Um, so before we get into it, um, the Off Campus series is a series by L. Kennedy and it's about these four hockey players and basically what happens to them when they encounter different relationships. We have varying tropes in here. One of them is my least favourite trope, um, but I won't say anything more because from this point on, there will be spoilers. I think it's really going to be hard for me to analyse this, these books without spoilers. It's going to be light spoilers throughout, so I'm talking about things they're saying, etc, uh, etc. Et this is going to be a long video, so I hope you've got a cup of tea. Right, that's done. So basically, I am about to start the deal, and um, this is the first in the series. This is about Garrett and Hannah. Um, as far as I can remember, um, Garrett is like, whatever, the captain, quarterback of the, t basically he's like, the main guy, oh, it's not quarterback, uh, I don't know what it is, it must be captain, captain of the hockey team, and Hannah is, um, in a music degree of some sort, I think, and basically she has a guy that she has an art, her eye on at college, um, but there is something getting in her way. Um, this one has a lot of trigger warnings because Hannah has past trauma due to sexual assault and rape. And I believe Garrett is the only person she currently feels com comfortable with developing um, her sex life so that she feels confident in herself and comfortable comfortable um, having sex going forward. So it's got quite a smutty sort of... It's got quite um, like... A sexual grounding I suppose you could say um, which makes it quite interesting so what I have done is I will show you put the first post-it note down and I have put couple and romance as pink tabs um, because I feel like they go kind of together spice and tension can go together quite well um, individual characters and then fun slash other um, this doesn't necessarily mean that all of these are going to be positive tabs I'll probably put a little ticker across on the tab to show to indicate whether I think it's a positive or a negative I'm literally just going to read the first chapter because that's all I have time for before I have to start dinner but I thought I would just um, start it already so my reading this weekend has been really really scattered and I've been struggling to get the time to read. But this evening, I have read already like over 100 and I think I've read about 150 pages so far. Um, whilst getting some stuff done. And I've gotten to the point now where I'm like really, really enjoying the story. I just really hooked on the, the sweetness and like the setup. I feel like it was, it's a lot slower to get to sort of. The point than I thought um it's more focused on the fact that she's doing it to sort of get to know another guy or get the attentions of another guy and um, she's doing the tutoring thing so that's like really built up in the first part and what I love I think I one of the things I really loved about the series is that each um story kind of builds on the side characters that feature in later stories so I've been really liking that because I forgot and that it was so present, which I hate it when they're not present. So I'm just sitting down with a cup of chamomile because, don't judge me, it's super weak because I'm pansy. And, um, yeah, I'm got, I've got quite a lot to do this evening uh, before actually reading anything. But yeah, I'll um, update you when I've read some more. Uh, so it's been a little while. But I'm about ready to pick up The Mistake um, by L. Kennedy. Obviously, this is the off-campus reading. It's going to be by L. Kennedy. This one's only 321 pages. 
um, if I could finish this tonight, it would be a miracle. I don't think I will, um, but I'm really hoping that I can finish this tonight, if not tomorrow. Um, and I'm going to go with the same tabbing. So pink for couple and romance, orange for spice and tension, yellow for individual characters, and green for fun slash other. That doesn't show you anything. Um, what I am going to do, I've got a few bits and pieces to do around the flat, but what I'm going to do is I am going to follow um, Becca's reading sprints for the rest of the evening. Um, she'll probably finish them soon anyway, but what I, I'm going to be doing is um, reading uh, during sprint time, and then I'm going to um, uh, just do some tidying up. When she's talking um obviously i'll take my ipad or whatever with me um so the mistake is about logan and i think her name is grace and grace is um a virgin i think um and logan is actually really in love with um hannah oh in love um is lusting after hannah from uh, the first book the deal um, which is his best friend's boyfriend. So, uh, best friend's girlfriend, sorry, brain is fried. Um, but I'm pretty sure um, Grace and Logan nearly hooked up, um, but she didn't, and then they just went their separate ways, um, which is fine. Um, I cannot remember um, much else about it, but this is the one that the first time around I rated the least, this one got a 3.75 stars, so I'd be intrigued to see how much I like it this time, I can't really remember, it's probably the whole virgin thing, if that's treat, the, the way that's treated is a real um, hit or miss for me, it can be really bad and it can be really good, so um, mostly bad though, most of the time it's bad, so we'll see how I get on, I don't know, I'll let you know. If you could ignore the mess in the background, that would be great. But I'm currently up to page 114, and um, there's something I wanted to talk about. Um, so the setup of the novel is slightly different from what I remembered. Um, basically, um, Grace and Logan have like a chance encounter um, and like hook up a couple of times. But Grace is a virgin, and on the time that she decides that she... Oh, yeah, I think we're going to have sex. She's actually really chill about her virginity. I forgot that stuff. Um, I actually like that a lot. She's um, not that... Um, I think she's got a very different perspective to virginity that a lot of, like, girls in this romance situation seem to have, like, in romance books, not in real life, um, which is quite refreshing just for the novel um, aspect of it. But... Um, she does, um, so she's gonna, you know, she's thinking, oh yeah, I'm gonna give him, I'm gonna not give him my virginity, I'm gonna lose my virginity, we're gonna have sex, it's just gonna be really great and chill. Um, and he's coming to sort of, not break things off, because things weren't really going anywhere, but he's like, oh, we can't hook up anymore, because I'm in love with this other person, or I really like this other person, and she's fuming, rightly so, um, and basically what happens is he then goes home realizes that he's not actually in love with his um best friend's girlfriend he just really wants a relationship and is in love with the idea of his best friend's girlfriend which is really interesting and um it was really good i really liked that it sort of didn't drag out for too long i mean the third um but um, I realised this is like a mini third act breakup because things were going really well and then they then they sort of like break up and then they go away for the summer and I'm pretty sure from what I can remember what's going to happen now is then he basically chases her from that because he wants he realises that she he really likes her and it's got like a slightly different setup now I think if I remember rightly when I first read this series, this wasn't the type of thing. I didn't really like the fact that it had a slightly different order, a slightly different setup. I didn't like, I felt like it dispelled some of the attention. Um, 
now it's all coming back to me. But see, now I'm enjoying it a little bit more than I think I would have done before because now I've read so many romance books that follow the same pattern, it's nice to get something that goes on a slightly different pattern. And I kind of sometimes, if it works well, I like the multiple breakups, like the multiple acts within the acts. I like it. So, yeah, that's just my thoughts so far. I thought you'd be interested. I just finished this and I basically read it all in one go, all in one sitting, which has been amazing. Um, absolutely loved it. Like a, a 4.75 stars, I think, for real. Um, a few things that I didn't like about it. Um, and But for the most part, I really, really loved it. Um, I found it really easy to get in, into and I'm going to talk about it a little bit more in the morning with um, full rankings but we'll see how we get on. I'm so, oh, I'm, I love it, I love it. Hello, so I thought it was time that I updated and actually spoke about um, the deal and the mistake. Um, so I finished the mistake two nights ago I think. Um, I really quickly read it all in one night, um, and the deal was about two weeks ago, but it's fine because obviously I still remember it really well. Um, lots of tabs. But I'm just going to go through the ratings that I've given them now. Um, I'm going to talk about the deal first. So I read that first. Um, for the deal, for main character one and main character two, so Garrett and Hannah, um, I gave them both an even nine because I thought they were really, really good characters, really well fleshed out, like had their own like little like hobbies and little niche little things that they were kind of like obsessed with and the character arcs were developed really, really well. Um, there were a couple of like annoying like comparisons and like um, just a few little niggly bits that just I thought I'm going to not mark those down a little bit, but nothing like overall. And but as a couple, I gave them 10 because I really like them together. I thought they were a really sweet couple. I love the setup, I loved how it worked. I just thought it was excellent. Um, um, but for Spice, I gave it a seven. So, um, obviously, it has like um, really like some really good spice and smutty scenes and things like that. I just think some of them, um, like, they tend to. I've noticed this about the L. Kennedy series so far. So there tends to be one, like, kind of big one, and then the other ones are just all, like, small, um, like, they're kind of brushed over and they're not as good. So that's kind of why I marked it down. I think that in this, and also this is relevant for the mistake, the, um, the smart is kind of the point. Um, so not the point, like, the, um, is a very crucial to the characters so it's not just that oh they fancy each other is that it's actually crucial to their plot so um it's a little bit crucial with um i wanted to call her ali but it's not ali it's grace um ali ali's next um grace is virgin and um hannah is suffering from sexual trauma um which she like is struggling to overcome um so yeah very like focused on that for Swoon and Romance, I actually gave the deal a 7 because I thought it wasn't as romantic as I remembered. It's very funny and the banter's very good, but the romantic side of things wasn't really there as much as I remembered it to be, which is not a shame. Well, it's a bit of a shame, but it wasn't, just isn't what I was expecting. And then, in uh, regards with tension, I gave it 6 because actually I thought it was very low tense, it wasn't very tense because they had a very playful relationship, the tension was kind of lower, um, it did make sense to the story but I could have done with a little bit more of a, te a little bit more of a tense moment. The third at breakup I gave 8.75 because I actually really like the way that they sort of go apart and they're like, um, they stay apart for a little while. I like that sometimes, I like that a lot often. Um, however, the only thing I don't like is, um, the only thing I didn't like about Third Act Breakup is I hate it when there's an ultimatum or a threat. I find that can be, it's like the worst kind of Third Act Breakup cause for me. So although the Third Act Breakup being dealt with like the, um, the actual time in which they broke up, I really like the way it was dealt with. The cause of it was really annoying to me, so. That's how it is. Nine, um, 
I really liked the ending. I thought the ending was really good. Um, not perfect, but whatever. A setting slash trope, I gave it a 9.75. There was less hockey than I remembered. Um, I love, I just love the hockey, like, I love the hockey stuff. So, so, so close. Just slightly less than what I remembered. Um, fun enjoyment, I gave it 9. I had the best time. And total points, I gave it 84.5. Which I think is a pretty, pretty, pretty good score, if you ask me. Um, that would put it in like a four, like it would put it in like five star territory for me. Um, like 4.75 star territory. Um, and then we have The Mistake. So The Mistake, I gave um, both, I gave um, Grace, for, so for The Mistake, I gave Grace a nine and Logan a 10 because I feel like uh, Logan's backstory is fleshed out a lot more than Grace's is. There's, they're very pretty even but I just feel like um, Logan's got a lot of emphasis on him. I really love Logan. I really love Grace as well. I think Grace is really cool. Um, but yeah, as a couple, again, I gave them 10. They just worked really well together. There was no falseness. It was banter. It was so good. It's so, 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 so good. But also, I actually gave it six because I thought it wasn't as good as some spice I've seen. It was good, but just not amazing. Didn't blow my socks off. Um, uh, but good enough that it was so good overall. I think all the elements like pulled together to make a really good story. Um, Four Swoon and Romance, I gave it a nine because I felt it was really romantic and really soppy and really cute at points and I loved it. I loved it. Um, and for tension, I gave it seven because there were times when I thought it was quite tense, but times when I thought, where's the tension? There's none. Um, and then third act breakup, we had a 9.5 because I love the fact that this is like a two-tiered third act breakup. And the second time is very brief. I like a brief third act breakup sometimes, especially when there's been a lot of drama. I feel like the second third act, the, the second breakup, the last breakup, um, if it's like a little bit more chill, it's pretty good. I like the resolution. The ending, I gave a nine because I absolutely loved the resolution, I love the radio show thing, but I just felt like in the epilogue there's no um, Logan, and it's really annoying. I, don't, I, I didn't like that at all. Um, no, I didn't like it. I just, I like the where they ended up, but why is Logan not in the Like, why is he just talked about not actually in the scene? Um, for saying the trouble, I gave it 10 because there was a lot more like hockey stuff in here, I felt like. The teammate and stuff, the team and stuff, I thought that was much better. Um, and Final Enjoyment, I had 10 because I read it cover to cover, like sitting down, just chilling out. So I really enjoyed that. And I uh, gave it 89.5 overall, which means it's actually higher than the deal, which I wasn't expecting. So that's pretty good. So I'm going to start the score again. This one last time was my five star pick. So this one was my favorite last time. This follows Dean and Ali. Um, Ali is um, Hannah from book one's best friend um, or like housemate and whatever. And um, it's a bit kind of forbidden. Um, and there's a bit of like ex history there and lots going on. And I'm pretty sure Dean is chasing after her. So that's quite interesting, um, and we'll see how we get on. I've got a cup of decaf coffee, I'm gonna sit here in the room. I just thought I would do a really quick clip, just because I'm so tired, um, but I know I'll forget to say tomorrow that I forget. <laughs> I finished the score and I thought it was really good, um, just as good as it was before. Um, has one of the most memorable third act breakups but I'll talk to you a bit more about it in the morning but just to say that I really loved it like so much hello so it's been a little little while since I updated this vlog um I've just been not wanting to pick up the goal and that's a whole part of this project to be honest with you the reason I don't want to pick it up is because it is a surprise pregnancy and I don't really like that trope. This is the only one of this trope that I've really read. Um, but it was definitely my least favourite. I liked the story overall. 
but it just went in areas that I just don't like for reading. Sorry, the camera's moving with some dog sitting and the dog is just shaking my makeshift tripod. Um, but I'm on my lunch break and I'm going to go outside and read um, because it's a nice day and I think I could sit out and get some. I haven't got my tab tabs. I haven't got my tabs, which is really annoying. I can't seem to find them. But um, I'll just make any notes on my phone. But I will let you know how I get on with my reading. We'll see. Um, oh, it might be nice to get some sun, sun, fresh air. We'll just leave it at fresh air. Um, but yes, I will let you know how I get on after my first read. Um, but I really want to sort of push through this part because I really want to read The Legacy and catch up on the guys there. So I read some more, well, I read on my lunch break. I tried to read outside. I didn't manage it for long because it is a cold out there um, and very windy. I tried to film as well, but that didn't go too well. Um, and I got up to page 112, I read about 90 pages on my lunch and 20 pages just down my break. Um, it's so fast, I read like, a two like more than two pages a minute so i've still got some time to chat to you about it which is great um and i'm really enjoying it so far but this is the bit i remember loving last time um because it's like the oranges oh orange. it's the orange origins do you want to this is my dog bust out with my mum and dad's dog i love you i love you right now be good while i'm talking on camera so, um, it starts with the origins of, um, Logan and, stop, Logan and Sabrina's relationship, um, how they start hooking up, how it's a secret, and it's really tense and cute, I really like them as individual characters, I feel like they're both very different from, um, other characters in the series, um, which is nice, it's quite refreshing, I like that you see a little bit more of the group. I like that it's like the behind the scenes because it overlaps with the last book as well. Um, some of the storylines and um, Sabrina's relationship with Bo, um, which is really sweet because they um, kind of exes. I well, they used to sleep together, um, but are friends. And obviously the sad death of Bo is coming which is devastating actually like really devastating because Bo is such a fun character um and um it's just really sad because you know it's coming um so that's really good um but yeah I'm just sitting here chilling um for now oh my god I ain't got a minute left but I am about to work again and um I thought I'd just give you a quick update gonna have a cup of tea get on with work for the rest last part of the day and then i've got a couple of hours to do nothing before i have dinner with my brother and then go home for the night where i'm gonna play dreamlight valley so i'm probably not gonna read um but i really want to finish this today if i can which is would be really good and then try and fit oh, 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 i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry um all right all right all right calm down um but yeah, so I'm really excited to carry on reading and it's just, ugh, I hate the things that come with the pregnancy trope, like the judgment from characters, like that, the actual baby stuff is fine, um, because I love kids, um, I love, um, I don't have any, but I love being an auntie, I love my friends' kids so, 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 so much, very passionate about, um, the little people in my life. So that sort of stuff isn't too bad. Like I don't mind talking about kids. It's just the like the judgment from other characters and like the like forced hard work it puts them in sometimes isn't what I want to read in a romance book. Um because it's like the forced like, oh, she's she's gonna be where I could if I remember correctly, um she's tired, she's miserable, it gets in the way of her life plan and um it just doesn't suit my reading at the moment. Right, I've got, to, I've got to go now. The dog's going crazy. 
so um it is a few days later i actually put the book down because um i just my plan reading plans changed a little bit but i just read for my entirety of my lunch break and i've read another 100 pages so i'm up to page 218 which is fab um so that worked out really really well for me um literally i didn't even read the whole lunch break it's so easy and fast paced to read i've just got to the bit where um uh sabrina's found out she's pregnant and it's been like the like deciding whether they're going to keep the baby or not and she decided she's going to keep the baby um and i'm feeling a little bit more positive towards it this time i'm i thought that they got pregnant a lot quicker and it was like they were on the struggle bus for a lot longer obviously you know i just i uh, just to clarify um i don't care uh it's, it's not the fact that they're i don't it's, it's really hard to quantify why i don't like because i'm not 100 percent sure what i do feel about surprise pregnancy it's just i don't know if i i care because oh, i said i like i don't really like romance books when there's kids involved because i feel like the way kids are treated get very it gets very tropey um and i know i read a lot of books with the same themes but it's just like um it can be very very repetitive sometimes but we'll see we will we, we will see but um i'm getting on with it and I'm, I'm enjoying it more than i think i did last time so i'm gonna i might not finish again till the end of the weekend because i've got quite a lot on but i'll let you know hello so it's the next morning now um i finished um the goal last night in bed whilst reading and I thought it was really good, much, much better than expected. I'll sit down in a moment with you and wrap up both um, the deal, no, goal, well I'll wrap up the last two books that I haven't wrapped up and give you my rankings, but I'm going to sit down and have a cup of coffee and some breakfast and start the legacy. Hello, so I'm sitting really cosy with some candles on my hoodie because it is chilly this evening um, to wrap up the last two books or the second two books um, in the off-campus series so we have the score and the goal and I thought I would run through my rankings with you um, before we go into the legacy because that's kind of separate um, so let's start with the score I gave main character one, which would be Ali, and then main character two, which would be Dean. I gave them both 9.5 um, because I really love these characters. They're really funny. I love the way they interact with each other. I like their little quirks, and I love um, just the way they bring each other out of each other's shells in like different ways. I really like that. So as a couple, I gave them 10. Um, they weren't like... Um, 10 characters each I feel like there could just be a little bit more from them each but mostly I really enjoyed them they were really good fun to read um, and Spice I gave it a 7 um, like it was good um, it wasn't um, bad it wasn't it just was good and I feel like it was strong but not amazing so a 7 it is um, and I gave it the same for Swoon and Romance um, I feel like um the characters aren't super romantic in this one, um, which I both liked and disliked. Um, they're really, really good fun, but I feel like that's sort of like the driving force of Dean and Ali. They were always my favourite um, in the beginning, and they were still, I think, my favourite this time. I think. It's really hard to tell because I just like them all so much. Um, tension, I gave it an 8 because they're like best friend secret relationship gave it that little bit more tension which i really loved um it also added a lot of funny moments into it as well third act breakup i actually gave this a 10 because um i feel like the third act breakup in this has a, so much emotional impact um uh, because if you didn't know you haven't read these um this series and you were here for the spoilers um dean has a best friend or a really really close friend who is not part of the hockey group um and his name is Bo, and he is the quarterback of the football team at this college 
and he unfortunately dies in a car accident which is so it's such a sad and harrowing moment and it plays out across the next book as well and it's just a really sad part of um dean and ali's story and i felt really in, like i felt like really really sad and it was really emotional so i feel like it really hit me in the best way um and i feel like dean was di trying really hard to um shut off from this he sort of goes a bit crazy gets a bit wild and the breakup occurs because of this which is what i really liked about it i feel like it was something external to the couple which is something i'm learning that i love and then um the ending i gave it a 10 because i just loved the sort of resolution of it and how they all came back together it was just really solid for me and the setting and trope in this one was a 10 because the um hockey plays such a massive part in this one and the college plays such a massive part in this one the dorms the lifestyle i feel like it's like peak hockey college romance which i loved um and for fun and enjoyment i gave it a 10 because it's just so fun and i just had the best 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 time with it so the areas in which it's lacking made up for the fact that it was funny and i had a laugh with it and i just really enjoyed it I had a good time then on to the goal which as you will have seen i had some low expectations for i remember not liking it as much um and that's definitely still the case um i don't like the direction it goes in as much but i didn't hate it i thought i was really not gonna like it but actually i didn't hate it which is great um uh so i gave main character one which is sabrina a 10 because why the f not i think sabrina is so badass i think she's so cool um i really like that she's so driven and i like that she doesn't care if people think that she's a frosty bitch she's just got she just wants to get on and do what she's got to do she's got passion and she's had a really hard life um and i'm really i just really love that um she's just really pushing herself and enjoying like just but lets herself go a little bit sometimes as well and then for a mr tucker i gave tucker nine because i really really like um tucker i like that tucker is um a very southern gentleman i like that side of him a lot um however i think that he definitely holds back a lot when i feel like he should um sort of communicate a little bit more i feel like he held back more than he should I, they were both holding back there was a lot of miscommunication in this but i just feel like tucker knew what was up and he just let it ride the wave i feel like that makes a good story but it's really annoying um and as a couple i gave them an eight because of that miscommunication between them early on i feel like they could have done with so much more communicating it would have been so much better um spice i gave it a six and there was a lot of sex early on um and it was good um but i just it didn't blow me away um i'm realizing that these are like um they have sex in and they are but they're not super smutty super spicy um but that doesn't mean i didn't enjoy them and they're still there's still enough there for me to enjoy it um Serena and romance hit five because they don't talk about much about their feelings and they're just sort of dealing with the hand that's been dealt to them they don't sort of there isn't much swoon worthy romantic moments there's really sweet things that happen that's why i've given it a five so it wasn't completely devoid of romance but it just wasn't enough um attention give it a six um it wasn't tension in my preferred way so there's a lot of tension with the external factors and the situation that they were in and their family lives but the tension between each other wasn't strong i think that there could have been some more really tense moments which i would have loved um third act breakup i gave it a 9.5 because sabrina telling tucker's mother you know you've got to stop ragging on me because i'm doing my best i'm sorry i hadn't cleaned up because i'm raising a child fuck off that was the best i loved it i loved that she advocated for herself um while also trying being really polite <laughs> um politer than she needed to be and i just really liked that sort of whole scene i thought it was a really good sort of third act breakup that was again external to them but um wasn't really even a third act breakup it was just a pivotal moment um yeah so i really enjoyed that and then the ending i gave 9.5 as well 
because um, it was just really sweet how they wrapped up and um, they finally committed to, it felt like really worth it they finally committed to each other they should have done it ages ago um, and then the setting slash type I gave a 7 because I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I did but it still isn't like my favourite kind of setting or trope not that much hockey um, not that much college but interesting all the same And then for fun and enjoyment, I gave it an 8 because I still had a really, really cracking time. Just not as much as the others. So, just looking at how the four original books um, came out against each other. On top, we have Reigning Supreme. And that is the score, which I was expecting. It was my favourite last time. It's my favourite this time. It got 91, so five, five whole stars. Um, and then we've got the the mistake so that's um grace and logan which i was surprised i didn't think that was going to be my favorite uh my second favorite this time then we have the deal which um again really strong book good start to the series and lastly we have the score but there's not that much difference between them because obviously the um the goal and yeah the goal with the top score of 91 isn't very far off from um no the Sorry, the score which has the top score of 91 isn't very far off from the goal which had 78. So then they're really close together. It's all, I feel like the fun and the enjoyment really reigns high with this series for me and helps me sort of really enjoy it. I haven't finished the legacy yet, but I will update you at the end of each pair's sort of section, their novella. So to speak, I'll let you know what I think. So I've just um actually finished. I didn't realise I was on the last chapter of the first um story, which is Grace and Logan's. It's called The Pact. Um and I've heard a lot of bad things about this. Um that people think people are fighting who shouldn't be fighting. Um basically they just disagree with what L. Kennedy has done. Um it's not that I disagree. Uh, I don't think I've got to the point that people have contention with anyway. I just didn't really see the point so obviously in this um grace and logan are struggling with the long distance um grace is worrying about what job she's gonna get um after college um she's still doing something at college i'm not sure what it was i can't remember um but they're both struggling they miss each other a lot and um They decide, the resolution of this story is that they make a pact to make each other, like, a priority. Always make time for each other, um, like, try and reignite the fire, so, so to speak. Um, but there's no actual resolution on that. It's like, oh, we've had a hiff, uh, like, a, we've got over a little hill. Now what? There's no, we've just decided it's over. So I didn't really like that, but we're moving on. And next, I think, we've got the proposal, which is Dean and Ali, my angels. So I'm really excited. It's getting a bit dark, so I'm going to be brief. I was also a little bit unimpressed with um, Dean and Ali's story because Ali's whole thing in their book is that she is a relationship girl, she wants a relationship, she wants a future, and then when he proposes to her, she's not ready. Now, don't get me wrong, that's not, um, <laughs> it's pos like, it is possible, and I don't mean to stereotype, but she's literally so hard on being a relationship girl, and how much she wants a relationship, she doesn't want someone to fuck around, she wants someone to commit to her, and yeah, they're bit of um miscommunication there but you know it's fine love the characters they're funny but the situation was weird just felt a bit forced but i'm gonna read tucker and sabrina's honeymoon now so i've just finished um sabrina and tucker's um short story and a Clearly, this is my fan favourite so far. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I ate that shit right up. Um, again, it has a lot of miscommunication. However, it was the most interesting, the most of what I'd expect from like a companion or like an epilogue story um, where it's just them on their honeymoon um, sort of experiencing their first proper row and things keep going wrong. It's very domesticated. Um, but in a fun setting and 
is really sweet and brings a good bit of conclusion to the next part of their story. So I really, really liked that. Um, well, it alludes to the conclusion of the next part of their story. But next, we're moving on to Hannah and Garrett, who um, it looks like Hannah's pregnant. So we'll see how we get on. So I just finished The Legacy and I really liked it. I liked, well, I had a good time. Um, but some of it just seemed a bit pointless, like, the, I didn't really like Hannah and Garrett's story either, I thought it was a bit silly, and like, I know people do obviously withhold their pregnancies and things like that, it just felt a bit silly in the situation, and we didn't see like the fallout of, um, Garrett like outing his father, it just all felt a bit messy, and it felt like a cash grab, which is hard to say, like, I feel like it's not like what I'd want to say about about it, but it's just the way it is, unfortunately. Devastating, I know. I'm really sorry to not have better news for you. But it, overall, it was really good. And it was really nice to read these series again. I felt like I needed a little bit of comfort recently. And I feel like it's been a really good experience. And it's another one ticked off my romance reading journey. I do think I will reread a couple of other romances that I've, um, I'm interested in. And to sort of think a bit more about um, why I was initially really drawn to these romances. I think um, this series will always i probably really enjoy it and love the setting and it will feel really familiar i think mainly because i do just feel like it was one of my first um of its kind for me so um we'll see how we get on um in the next one it's a bit dark now so i'm gonna close this off thank you so 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 much for watching and i'll speak to you again soon goodbye <laughs>